Yep. Let's go. This is tight. Oh my gosh, this is going to be tight. Australia. It's pretty damn massive. In 2015, we set out to conquer this great brown expanse in only five weeks. We began in Melbourne, sailed across to Tasmania, back to the mainland, we rode through Adelaide, Perth, through the Northern Territory, down the eastern coast through Townsville, and finished up at Brisbane for the dust tussle. Our first episode begins in a little town outside of Melbourne called Heathmont. We have been barking around Australia. Here we bloody come. I can't see anything out of my mirrors. Loaded up. Probably have nothing that I need, but we're going for it. We've committed. What the hell? I don't know why it took us this way. It said it was faster. Never have I ever been so worried. Good legs, how are you? Yes. Very good. Pretty, pretty noisy. Yes, sir. No. Hang on to that. Hang on to that. So it's it's just dawning on us that. We're on our way to Tasmania. We actually made it. I, I was lost, man. Here we go. We're going up the ramp onto the spirit of Tasmania. Woo! Into the big mouth of the beast. very early this morning in Devonport in Tasmania. Don't know what else to say other than that. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Wayfaring Wolves Australia trip. It's our first large adventure and we hope it goes alright. We begin our journey here in Devonport. We hope to head to Tulla for our first day. Apparently there's snow forecast there which should be quite interesting. <laughs> leaving Burnie, we were hit with rain. We decided to take shelter and change our gear. Despite what we heard about the road conditions, we decided to continue to stroll. Warm your hand back. Take it slow, eh? Hey?
After a nice pub meal in Rosebury, we rode on into the night. Well, here we are in Strawn on Tasmania's west coast. We arrived here at 11 o'clock last night after riding through rain, hail and snow. We had to roll our swags out underneath a, a gazebo. Uh, when we woke up it was four degrees and hailing. So it's been quite a cold experience here on the west. We'd, uh, we'd like to reach Hobart today, but there's quite a few road closures due to the, the snow and the ice. Uh, so we might only make it to Queenstown. So here we are in Rosebury. We made our way here yesterday. Um, got advised by a police officer that we should perhaps not head to Queenstown, we should, if we wanted to get to Port Arthur at all or even get out of the west coast, uh, we should actually head to Rosebury, head back the way we came, up the Ridgely towards Burnie. Um, so yeah, this is our camp. Um, we set up camp last night in the rain. Since then it hasn't hailed, which is great. Um, so we're just waiting for the rain to actually wash away all the hail off the road so we can actually ride. But anyway, we're hoping to get out of here today, at least get to Tulla. The road's still closed, um, but hopefully we'll be out of here today. It'll be great. So Curtis and I are here in Rosie and Dallas's house which Sam has kindly lent us the use of on behalf of them. Um, we just got their wood fire cranked up and their pizza oven started as well so very cosy. Oh yeah they have a cat. What do you think Ken? Uh, I'm just happy that we're here and that we don't have to get anywhere for a long time. So is there anything you're looking forward to on the trip, Curtis? Getting home, <laughs> finishing. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, Dad has just left, so he's heading to Nowbri um, tonight just before where all the kangaroos get a bit too crazy and we'll fix our bikes again get them up to scratch hopefully go for a ride with sam tomorrow up in the mountains it'll be pretty cool
been that bad. It's pretty bumpy. Yeah. 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 I mean, you're honest, bro. If it wasn't bumpy, though, wouldn't it? So Curtis, what do you reckon? Pretty successful day? Good day. Good day. Oh, yeah. Sam's yeah, gardens. Got us everywhere. You got all the best roads you could. Yeah, all the bumpiest roads you could find. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm modeling the RST <laughs> wet weather gear. <laughs> if we didn't have this, we would be frozen. <laughs> 